You can find the GP tube on the G curve uh, panel. And the GP tube will convert grease pencil strokes or the annotation strokes and convert that into curves of the bevel. Um, and best is to use the um, grease pencil because with the grease pencil you have more control. So to paint, to make a stroke, you can add this. I turn on in the properties panel the active tool settings. I turn on stabilize so I can have um, a bit more smoother strokes if I don't do that. I can have strokes like that. So once you made the um, grease pencil stroke, you click on GP2. You see now that it is quite uh, dense, so I think a good option is to use poly instead. And later on, when we are finished with this, we can here um, simplify the curve. We don't see this option over here, but if we change settings here, it will go back. For example, if I simplify curve here a few times, I change the resolution, then Right, so that is G, uh, GP tube. So after that, we want to simplify the curve a few times, and that's uh, done it. We still can change these settings over here. Next is the GP screw under the G curve panel. First, we make a grease pencil stroke like that. I have enabled here the stabilize so I'll make smooth uh, strokes. And then we press GP screw, but first we have to go out of uh, draw mode, go to object mode, and then press GP screw. At the moment, when I chase anything in this. A panel, I will get a crash, so I'm quite hesitant to use this one. But we can see that we can see the steps also over here. Smooth, smooth stroke. This, this one, I suppose. So we can use that. So you see, uh, the, um, it is quite dense here, but we can simplify the curve. We do that. And we can increase the steps. All right, it is still a curve. If you want to convert it to mesh, it's possible. Next one is the GP stretch. First, I'm making an object like a cube scale on the x axis. Go on add mode, add some lookups. Look at loop cuts, loop cuts. Then I press grease pencil here, make a stroke like that. Go to object mode. I select first the object, then I select the stroke, and then I click GP stretch. Next is free hole under the G cut panel. I have a sphere here already, and I make a grease pencil stroke. I'm an autographic view, front view. I go out of uh, draw mode, go to app, object mode, and then select object, and then the grease pencil stroke. Then you see here three options. They all do three different things. I show you first the cut. I click cut and then free hole. I'll guess something like this. And then you get here a few options. Um, if you do the soft one, soft one and then free hole. Then you see something like this, a smooth, uh, a soft uh, 
mesh and if you do hard and free hole you get something like this all right next is the gp cutter and the g cut panel i have you have a uv sphere and if i add the grease pencil stroke I go to object mode, select a sphere, then a pencil. Then I see the three different options. If I choose for hard and then press GP cutter, I get something like this. And then I suppose you can form a boolean or whatever you want to do later. Um, if you choose for soft and then GP cutter, you get a soft. You get this one. And if you choose cut and then I got an error here, but it seems to work. All right, you get that one. Next is the GP liner. Pretty interesting. So first select the object, then the grease pencil stroke. Three options if I choose hard GP liner. You get this. Then on the inside, you will see that. And if I choose for soft, I get this. So I think it's pretty useful. And I cut a GP liner in here. And here you have some uh, settings like uh, thickness, a smooth curve. Yeah, looks very good. Then the GP shaper. Then you make a stroke up in front view. Go out of draw mode to object mode and then press GP shaper. And then you can smooth the curve, uh, change the thickness. Smooth final mesh or soft cut. So that's pretty nice. Then uh, there are some other settings Boolean and uh, Dyner Topo. So I had a sphere here and I clicked on uh, Detail fl Flood Fill. You can set the resolution here if you want um, a dense, uh, a lot of uh, polys, and you click that one. And then if you have uh, shapes, you can uh, perform Boolean operations uh, over here. All right, I um, just wanted to show you mainly the G-curve panel and the G-cut panel, because those were a tiny bit confusing when I tried the add-on a year ago, I believe it was. All right, thank you for watching.